Hi, hi, sir. Uh, opposition lawmakers urge you to use your legal powers as chief executive to end uh, former Senator Leila de Lima's detention, saying you can do this without interfering with the courts hearing her cases by uh, ordering the prosecutors to dismiss the charges against her or... I think urging prosecutors to do one thing or another is interfering. <laughs> Uh, so that's why we, we uh, I, I have said, we, we are very, very clear that we have uh, uh, three departments of government. But uh, siguro naman, uh, hindi natin dapat, eh, pabayaan natin, hindi naman natin pinagdududahan ang proseso. Eh. Uh, if, uh, the, I think the process is, is there. We are continuing uh, to, uh, we are continuing to, uh, uh, to monitor what is going on. Uh, the extent, uh, I think, uh, to, to, to clarify, I spoke when uh, the incident in, uh, uh, in the detention center happened in Camp Crame. I spoke to Senator De Lima on the Sunday. Sunday. I was still in Ilocose, so I remember it was a Sunday. Um, I spoke to her Sunday morning. I asked uh, Secretary Benhur Abalos to go and to find out that everything was okay, that she was okay. And I said, Pasukin mo at kausapin ko. And that is what uh, I, I said. Do you feel? And the reason I asked, I, I wanted to speak to her, was I wanted to ask her if she feels safe. If, because if she doesn't feel safe, sabi ko sa kanya, ililipat ka namin. Uh, and she said, sabi nga naman niya, na hindi naman siguro kailangan. Uh, so she never asked me to do anything uh, in terms. Yun lang yung tweet niya, yung, uh, that, what she tweeted, uh, I think, yesterday. Uh, that was the extent of it. So that, that, that is uh, the extent of our discussion.